Hello everyone. I am Guru Ananta Narayanan, country head Blue Yonder India. We are the world's leading artificial intelligence machine learning software platform and the who's who in manufacturing, retail and logistics industry use our AI ML software for planning and execution. We are proud to help ensure that people get the right product at the right time and the right place and that's our digital platform that helps them to do so sustainably. I want to first start with what we are hearing from the COVID front lines. First, I want to start out with some positive news, and these are direct quotes from Blue Yonder customers. We appreciate this great feedback and are pleased that their supply chains are indeed adapting well to this COVID disruption. The customers on the retail side, in fact, told us that when COVID-19 related disruptions first began to hit, their first instinct was to begin manual overrides of the machine learning based plans that Blue Yonder created. But in fact, within a few days, they realized that even with the unprecedented supply chain disruptions from COVID, the machine learning based plans quickly adjusted and learned and provided better solutions that that were better than their overrides. So where are we today? What has just happened? Right? Today's retailers are in an unprecedented period of change from various sources of volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. At the same time, the disruption has become a norm. Look how quickly COVID-19 changed the way we work and we live. In the digital age, competition can emerge very quickly. Disruptors can take advantage of digital technologies and very quickly achieve scale of legacy customers. Today's company footprints have become very complex as geography has become a very key driver of corporate performance due to talent availability, tax regulations, tariffs, operating costs, and much more. Emerging technologies like blockchain, the Internet of Things, cloud computing, artificial intelligence have created a profound opportunity to increase retailers business performance. The bottom line is that for retailers and manufacturers, the need for agility, predictability and resilience has never been stronger. We have been talking to various of our customers over the pandemic over the last one year. And the supply chain practitioners are also telling us that they are confronting unprecedented challenges. Everyone is seeing rapid acceleration of omni-channel as consumers seek to get products by almost any means possible while maintaining social distancing. Supply chain leaders are seeing the need for faster and better risk management. Staffing and also having sustainable health force has become a very important uh, aspect. Remote working has become a very major consideration for many. So leaders are seeking higher productivity and automation, right? So the disruptions in short term planning horizon are affecting sales and operation plans. So industry leaders are asking how they can better bridge the two and they need to reduce the silos and collaborate virtually. However, however you want to look at it, right? It's pretty clear that we are at an inflection point. The issues that our global supply chains are experiencing are exposing long held challenges in conventional approaches to sourcing and supply chain management. And although we look forward to the day when COVID-19 situation is behind us, there will be no going back in terms of supply chain management. For example, global disruption, channel complexity, trade, tariff concerns, regional sourcing, supply chain skill shortages are likely to help define the new normal. And our customers are telling us that they must be better prepared for the new normal going forward. So now what does this mean for supply chain management, right? I believe and as a company, Blue Yonder believes that supply chains can save the world. Supply chains, better run supply chains are the answer to this problem. Our customers and prospects need 
better planning, visibility, and orchestration end-to-end. -end. They need to know where their inventory is at all times. They need the ability to predict disruptions and pivot the plan quickly. They are competing globally for many of the same resources and supply bases. To help overcome staffing issues, they need more automation, more intelligent assistance, and a simplified user experience. Uh, they need to make it easier to collaborate in this virtual world. And that's very frustrating to the extent that unforeseen disruptions are dismantling their supply chains. They want to know how they can make what appears to be unpredictable, predictable, right? How can I make what's unpredictable, predictable? And how can they get ahead of it? And, and that's where autonomous supply chain comes to the rescue. And that's the response to this problem that we have right now. The problem of the year, COVID-19. The problem of the decade, which is sustainability of our planets. How do we ensure 0% carbon emission, right? And a 100% digital supply chain is the answer to that. So how does the supply chain of the future become autonomous, right? It is not like you wake up tomorrow morning and say, hey, I'm live with an autonomous supply chain. That's impossible. It must evolve. And the first step in this journey is to provide visibility of the data that's siloed in your planning systems within your enterprise. You don't have to go outside for this. Typically, this has been achieved using business intelligence tools or reporting tools, but most often they, they provide a very static, out-of-date picture, right? It's almost like a paper map, uh, if I can take that analogy. And with solutions like Blue Yonder, you're, we are able to provide real-time visibility across your end-to-end -end supply chain, across every node in your supply chain. And that's going to be critical. Having real-time visibility across the end-to-end -end supply chain, that's step number one in the journey towards autonomous supply chain. The next step is predictive, which is improved by digital capabilities, artificial intelligence, and what-if scenarios. It's like a GPS right but it still requires a user to decide okay which scenario do i take which route do i take and then decide to execute it the third step is prescriptive where artificial intelligence analytics and what if scenarios they are able to provide prescriptive resolutions to problem and this is like the google maps where as you're traveling if there is a roadblock it is able to immediately give you an alternate solution right and it gives you more than one options in some times and you can choose between them and then move ahead so this is prescriptive recommendations prescriptive resolutions and that's a very important stage in the journey towards autonomous supply chain the last and the final stage of nirvana is autonomous supply chain and always on self-learning and self-healing supply chain right and this is real this is happening right now using real-time data with continuous artificial intelligence and machine learning the supply chain is not only predicting problems it's not only predicting uh, issues that can uh, happen in the future it is also able to prescribe outcomes it is able to prescribe resolutions and the trade-offs on how to resolve them and it also acts and execute the decisions so it predicts it prescribes outcomes and acts and execute decision. And it's almost like the self-driving cars that are coming out today, right? The autonomous car is a set of technologies. It has a camera, sensor, motors, computer. They're all connected in real time and working in harmony, right? Without this, it wouldn't work. In the same way, to achieve an autonomous retail supply chain, you need to have a fully connected real-time platform and uh, solutions like Blue Yonder are able to provide that today. So now there is a very key ingredient in autonomous supply chain, right? And what is that key ingredient? It is data. And we are very lucky that we are 
in an amazing intersection of data and more data, right? We are in an amazing intersection of high power computing and more computing. So data and high power computing, these are the two things that you need to be able to build and sustain and run an autonomous supply chain. The great news is we have it right now. And I want to compare, right, the two, two extremes. In, nine, in 1452, uh, Gutenberg, a German blacksmith known for inventing the mechanical movable type printing press, right? His printing press has been widely considered the most important invention of modern era because it profoundly impacted the transmission of knowledge. The first book reached about 400 million people and that, that's a big feat in 1452. Right. And now fast forward to the present in 2021 with Google, you have over 2.5 quintillion bytes of data that's available. Right. And 90 percent of this data was created in the last couple of years. And we have about 8 billion people. Right. So there is immense data available which can be processed using the high power computing that we have available at such low cost and come up with predictions of what could happen next uh, what disruption could happen what event could happen and how do we quickly prepare for it and resolve it right so ai ml works on objective data right and there is a lot of data sitting within your company today which can be leveraged even before you go outside to gather uh, social data, news, events, weather, that you can use and come up with outcomes, predict outcomes with just the data that's within your company, right? And, uh, and that's exactly what AI ML does. And the great thing about using data is there is no human bias involved, right? Similarly, ML can individualize the prediction. For example, for that item at that store, and it can do this based on everything that we know from all stores and all locations and all items that is there in your network. So it's a wonderful uh, combination of data computing uh, and advanced machine learning, artificial intelligence uh, algorithms that we have available today that we can achieve autonomous supply chain and that is the solution for the problems that we have today in hand in terms of COVID and also the long-term problem in terms of the planet sustainability, right? And um, I want to close off with a quick summary in terms of what we are seeing um, at some of our key customers, right? So what we've spoken so far is actually real. We have customers who are actually live with these solutions. And Morrison, uh, a UK uh, leading retailer, grocery retailer, is using Blue Yonder's artificial intelligence algorithm. And, and they're able to make some tremendous uh, decisions completely automated, right? 99% is automated. And they've been able to reduce the gaps in the shelves by 30%. They've been able to reduce their um, inventory by two to three days, reduce their write-offs and waste around the perishable and fresh goods significantly, right? And most importantly, they're able to run their supply chain highly efficiently, right? So decision under uncertainty is always a compromise. If you go for higher, less waste and um, uh, more, or less out of stock, you cannot do both simultaneously, right? To ensure that you are able to reduce your out of stock, you need to end up stocking more, right? But with AI and ML, we can do both simultaneously. And that's exactly what we want. Um, so this is exactly what we have seen at this customer. Similarly, we are also working with several online marketplace uh, where we have been able to reduce their delivery times from a week to a couple of days. We've been able to increase the turnover, more importantly, increase the customer satisfaction and reduce the returns. And which is 
a very important uh, KPI that we measure uh, for uh, dot coms returns, right? There's tremendous amount of returns that come back, but we have been able to ensure that the returns have been reduced because of the automation that we have brought in terms of pricing, stock availability, and the freshness that the uh, these companies are able to give to their customers. Uh, the last uh, one I want to show here is again around retail pricing. In case of demand planning, it's just about sales, right? Predicting what a customer would buy. But when it comes to retail pricing, we need to balance both pricing as well as uh, elasticity and how the price sensitivity impacts demand. So the AI ML tools with all the data available for this particular retailer is able to very nicely achieve both increase in market shares uh, as well as decrease in returns and leftovers. So this has been an excellent uh, outcome that we have been able to achieve at um, uh, these fashion retailers uh, very recently. Uh, so with that, I want to close off my presentation. Blue Yonder is a world leading supply chain management platform. It has AI and ML capabilities, and we're very glad that to have this opportunity to present in front of you real studies and case studies and results that we have had and achieved with our customers. Thank you very much.